Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a topic that's crucial for California homeowners. This is the foreclosure timeline. Now foreclosures can be a daunting process, but understanding the timeline can help you make an informed decision. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris Bain at Keller Williams Realty, where I make these videos to help you make sense of the real estate market. If you would do me a huge favor, please hit that subscribe button and then give us a like. I surely would appreciate it. So thanks for that. So let's talk first and foremost what a foreclosure is. Foreclosure is the legal process by which a lender can take control of a property, evict the homeowners, and sell the home after the homeowner fails to make full principal and interest payments on a mortgage as you have agreed to in your mortgage contract. Now let's talk about the pre-foreclosure period. Now before the actual foreclosure process begins, you'll enter what's known as pre-foreclosure. This is when you miss your first mortgage payment. Lenders typically wait until you're about 90 days delinquent before initiating the foreclosure process. Now during this time, it's crucial you have to communicate with your lender to explore options like loan modification or refinancing your loan. Now, after the 90 day mark, the lender can file what's called a notice of default, which is the official start of the foreclosure process. This is recorded with the county. So a county gets a copy of this, it's recorded against your deed. From this point, you have 90 days to cure the default, which usually means catching up on all your missed payments, plus fees and interest. Now, if the default isn't cured within those 90 days, the lender is gonna file then what's called a notice of trustee sale. This notice will specify the date, time, and location where your home is gonna be auctioned off. The sale date can't be earlier than 21 days from the notice that it is recorded. And that usually happens out on the courthouse steps in El Cajon. Now, on the day of the auction, the property is sold to the highest bidder who must pay it cash, usually via a cashier's check. If no one bids on the property, the ownership then reverts back to the lender and it becomes what's known as real estate owned or REO. That is when it is foreclosed on. Now, in some cases, you might have a right of redemption, which allows you to reclaim your property even after the auction. However, this is very rare in California, so don't count on it. And it usually requires you to pay the full amount of the unpaid loan plus fees and interest. Now, after the sale, the new owner will typically issue a three day notice or quit, which means you have three days to vacate the property. If you don't leave, the new owner can start the eviction process, which can take several weeks. Now, here are some alternatives to foreclosure. Foreclosure is a lengthy and stressful process, but there are alternatives. These include loan modification, short sale, deed in lieu of foreclosure. Each has its pros and cons, so consult with a financial advisor or attorney to explore all of your options. Now, California does have some legal protections for homeowners, such as the Homeowner Bill of Rights, which provides certain safeguards against predatory lending. Also, consult with a legal advisor and attorney to understand your rights. You can find attorneys on the San Diego Bar website. To wrap things up, foreclosure is a complex process, but understanding the timeline can help you navigate it more effectively. If you are facing foreclosure, consult the professionals for advice tailored to your situation. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with someone who might be able to use it. Talk to you soon.